Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how to make a Discord welcome channel uh, using the MWE6 bot. If you find this video helpful today, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So the first thing you'll need to do is get the bot if you haven't done so already. So what you want to do is come across to your internet browser and you can see I'm currently logged into my Discord and on my server I've got the bot here. But if you don't have that all you need to do is open up a new tab and you want to come across to mwe6.xyz and then once you come to this page what you need to do is actually click the blue add to Discord button down here. And it's going to come up with a quick authorization asking you to give it permission. And then you'll just need to select which server you want to add that to. So make sure you do add it to the correct server. So once that's all done and set up and ready, what's going to happen, it's going to take you to the dashboard, which will look like this. And the first thing we're going to do is create our welcome channel. So what we're going to do is come back to Discord. And then under text channels, we're going to hit the plus button next to it where it says create channel. Make sure that's set, set to text channel. And then we're just going to give it a name. So in this example, I'm just going to put welcome. And then click the create channel button. And you can see that's now been added. What we're going to do is just hold the left mouse button down and move it up just so it's at the top of the list. So it's the first thing that people see when they join the channel. And there's a couple of things we need to do first. So what we're going to do is next to the channel, we're going to click this gear icon. And what we're going to do is come down to the permissions tab on the left hand side. And then what we're going to do is click on to advanced permissions. We want to make sure this is set to at everyone in the roles uh, box down here. And then there's just a couple of things we're going to do. So what we're going to do where it says send messages, we're going to actually put a cross in that one. And then we're going to put a tick where it says view channel. And then we're just going to go ahead and click the save changes pop up, which has come up at the bottom to save the changes. So once that's done, all we need to do is click the uh, cross up here in the top right hand corner. And then we're going to come back to our dashboard. And what we're going to do is, as I say, you'll get a screen like this after you've installed, it should automatically direct you. If it doesn't, all you need to do is come to me6.xyz forward slash dashboard. That's going to take you to the screen. And then what you want to do is click the um, under server management. It should say welcome. So you just want to go and give that a click. And then what we're going to do is just from the drop down box, we're going to change this to the welcome channel. And from here, what we're going to do is this is where you can actually add the welcome message. So this is set up. You'll see there's brackets around where it says user and uh, brackets and stars where it says server, uh, which what's going to happen is when someone joins the server, this is kind of like code. So it's going to automatically put their name in and it's going to put the name of the server automatically. If you want to add to this, you can. like so. And don't forget to click the blue save pop-up which comes up at the bottom when you've made any changes for that to take effect. Uh, what you can also do is send a welcome card when a user joins the server you've got a toggle switch there. And if you scroll down slightly as well you can customize it if you've got a premium version. And there's other things you can do like send a private message to new users. And also there's other things like give a role to new users and send a message when a user leaves the server. But that's how you do it. Um, it's fairly simple to do. Just follow the steps and you'll have that set up ready to go. I hope you did find that helpful. If it did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.